Everything right now is about getting ready for the start of our house build. We're getting ready to build our dream home here on the side of this mountain in Panama, but there's one massive problem. Our house needs to go right here in the middle of these solar panels. So these solar panels, they gotta go. And I think we have the perfect spot for them. We built this roof in the slope of this roof, knowing our solar panels were gonna go up here. We have it angled the right way with how the sun comes here, how it rises, when it's sunny versus when it's cloudy. And now's the day where this whole idea and this whole plan finally comes full circle. And we use our gym glass house to its full capability. Measurements, 36 inches by 40. This is officially our preferred way of getting around here on Lola's farm to get from point A point B over here. We don't even use these stairs. We we use the slide more than Sadie does. So in order to attach these solar panels properly onto this roof, we need to put down some cariolas. You gonna come up on the roof next week? We'll have a roof date? What do you think? Roof day? Roof. You look good. Silicone. We're gonna have over 200 inches of rain hitting this roof every single year. So the big concern about putting solar panels on a roof, and the thing that I've been concerned about for years, is having leaks. So this cariola is where the solar panels are gonna get screwed into, and then I'm gonna screw this cariola down onto the roof. And what I'm gonna do is use these pre-existing roofing screws that we have. I'm gonna back out just the screw section, because if you look, these screws have rubberized washers on them. And I'm gonna have the silicone that we use to put on top of these screws. It's gonna hold the washer down. And then I'm gonna take a new screw, put it through the cariola, put it through the roof, and basically just sink this thing down. And the washer and the silicone that's already on there should stop any water from getting in. This is Kaylee's dream come true. <laughs> Sweetie, you're gonna leave me in charge of this. Kaylee just wants to ice cakes. Not only because I enjoy it thoroughly, but you guys, Jordan is probably the sloppiest silicone putter on her that I know. <laughs> Honey, I've grown up a lot. You know what I mean? I, back in the day, when we were building the bus, I'm with you fully. <laughs> well, come on. It's not your strength, and that's okay. That's what I'm here for, is to balance you out. You just want to ice the cake. I just don't understand how you think that that's, like, clean and neat. Honey, that was, that was my first one, all right? Um, but as I go along... That was your second one. <laughs> Yeah, but look at my third and fourth. I'm gonna hide this. You want me to hide that? Yeah. Are you gonna help me put the no, stuff in the potatoes? It. Okay, close your eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready? Okay, it's ready. Ah, you found it. it. All the potatoes. potatoes. There's so, so many pieces, but they're so dirty. Mama needs to wash them. I'll do the salt, you do the pepper. Salt and pepper, salt and pepper. Okay, that's probably good for that. Nice Ooh. and spicy. Ready, touch it with your finger. Boop, try. Spicy. Yes. <laughs> it absolutely warms my heart how much Eberto loves using our gym. He even brought his little brother over too. And there's nothing more important than when Jordan and I increase the quality of our lives with having this gym here, not only for ourselves, but also being able to share it with others. I'm gonna be past one of those panels up to me in a sec. It just finished raining, so now I have to go on a wet roof. I'm safe up here. Thanks for that reassurance, Bubba. I need it. Got it? Yep. These things must be at least like 50 pounds. Got it? Yeah. Such a good view from here, honey. It's a great view from here. The gr it's, it's a great view from here. The volcano. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm talking about, yeah. sweetie. So you were admiring me, It is what I was talking about. That's looking pretty cool, huh, you guys? Honestly, I'm pretty stoked for this because the glare coming off of this galvanized roof is intense in here. It looks cool, huh? Yeah, it looks great. Tomorrow we're getting that sucker done. Oh, I left my tape measure up there. I see it. You see it? Yeah. 
We're gonna leave it up there for the night. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Did you hear her wake up last night? Yeah, I almost got four. We can't crack it yet because there's a baby in there. You do that egg and I will do this egg. We actually, I think we only need one egg in here today. Yep. Good job. Nice. Beautiful. Do you want blueberries in yours? How about I will put it in a bowl? Oh yeah, actually I was gonna put it in there. Do you want maple syrup too? Please, please, please. Of course. Thanks. Now I can go. Today's the day that hopefully we get all the solar done. We have three of the panels up on the roof. We just have three more to go. Good news is I've already done this one, so this time it should be even faster. Bad news, it's already cloudy, which means the rain could come in at any moment. Do you guys know how narrow Panama is? I think it's like 70 miles or something ridiculous. So you have two winds pushing at each other and both of them have rainstorms and they're both fighting each other. And when it's sunny, they're both like at equal strength. And when it's rainy, one of those is winning. And we're either getting Caribbean rain or we're getting Pacific rain. Are you gonna hold on? Look at you. I've put blankets up on these solar panels because we have some exposed wires over here. And I have learned the hard way that you can very easily electrocute yourself because these are producing electricity. So I'm gonna do the same thing and loosen up every other of these screws. It's gonna rain soon. Do you wanna try an apple? I probably should have cut it up for you, huh? It's a little tricky, I should cut that up. I'm so excited and so proud of our little eggplant here. It's getting bigger by the day. Okay, I just have a little bit of electrical left to do. Solar usually uses MC4 connectors. They kind of look like this. I don't really like them. I've had these fail on me a bunch. I've had bad connections. I've had no connection. I've had them melt from bad connections. So a lot of times what I do is I swap them out for these. Uh, these are a waterproof connector that has solder in it. And when you melt the solder, it fuses the two wires together. And then these two yellow parts are little seals and that's why I've been using here and I've been swapping them out. Our roof now is solar on it and I just have to wait for this rainstorm to come in to make sure that there's no leaks. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Let me just get down this ladder without falling. And I need to get that electrical run ASAP because this solar is a huge part of our lives. Careful honey, really hot, okay? You still been doing drywall, dude? Yeah. Pay the bug, huh? Oh, I do. You wouldn't think it'd be a quite in the moment. It seems like a, the easy thing to do. And then when you do sand the first time, it doesn't look good. You have to do another coat. And sand it doesn't look good. Another coat. Another coat. And every day she would look into it and say, Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? The mirror would always reply, You, oh queen, are the fairest of them all. <laughs> Take a 
finally has come to the point where we have to literally <coughs> booty bump the door open. You gotta work that booty somehow, honey. You know, booties are in these days. What do you think, Bubba? You wanna go pick some lemons and limes? Oh man, what a beautiful day. Check this out. Woo, these are the days that we live for, baby. Oh man, this is so good. Cheers. You ready for some matcha lemonade, honey? Woohoo! Lemons or limes straight from the farm. Farm to table matcha lemonade. There, straight from Vermont. Every single like kitchen tutorial that I see, everything is so clean. I'm like, how much time do you take just making sure everything's clean? After just... every step. Yeah. <laughs> That's insane, honey. That's like actually insane. <laughs> if you guys are curious which matcha we use, it's actually our matcha that we just launched. We actually sold out of this stuff within 12 hours after our first launch. And our newest shipment actually just arrived. So if you guys want to check it out, click the link in the top of the description. Electrical equipment. Should be everything we need, but on days like today, it's usually multiple trips to the hardware store, but let's hope not because today's Sunday and everything's closed. So I'm hoping that everything's in this bag. First things first. I don't want these gray pieces of PVC. That just doesn't look good. Gray on black. So first things first, I'm gonna paint these black. This is the last connection, sweetie. Is it really? Yeah. And then we get to test it, and either I'm gonna run around. Jump for joy? Very excited. <laughs> There's a chance I just rip all my clothes off. <laughs> or I'm gonna cry. No. Just a little bit more. Do we have any of that butane? All right, this is the negative connection. And the positive. There we go. Let me come in here and flip on solar one, solar two. Let's see if the solar panel lights up here. Hey! We got the solar, baby, let's oh go. Oh my gosh. So you get to take your clothes off and start, <laughs> start running around. I mean, you got us all excited. <laughs> I think you're the only one. I think you're the only one that got excited, honey. I don't know about that, honey. The solar panels are up on the roof. They're all done, but now we still have some deconstruction to do. Yes, I just said that while I was going down the slide and that's how things are gonna be going around here a lot more often because this slide is way better than stairs. <laughs> we actually still have two solar panels on here that we're gonna have to take off and all of this metal, we need to get out of here. This is where we're gonna be sleeping. This I is know. our bedroom. Well, no, I think it's on the other side. This might be Sadie's bedroom. This is gonna be your office. This I is think. our side. Is it our side? This is our bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I'm getting like these really cool cinematic shots of you and I'm like really focused, I literally am making this face. <laughs> like I literally just caught myself making that face. George went around and he actually cut off basically the whole top piece off. So now we're gonna try to lift this thing up. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy. This is such a big part of our home for so long. I know. This is one of the first things we built. This was the first thing we built before, even before our workshop, huh? Four years ago. That's crazy. I'm honestly pretty stoked that this thing's going bye bye. This thing's rock solid. Sometimes you just gotta swing it at it and see what happens. Let's give it a go. Show me that face you were talking about, sweetie. No, no. 
I may have birthed a baby, but I can't take a footer out of the ground by hand. <laughs> well, that was fast. Honey, that's why we have Anyberto and Enrique around. So does this mean that we don't need to get a backhoe? Uh, honestly? <laughs> I've been talking about getting a backhoe for a while. First of all, can we just take a look at how ugly these footers are? Yeah, this, is, this is how we used to do our footers back in the day. I think we should leave the poster moving to the guys, honey. Yeah, I mean, they've done three in the time I've done one. And on days like today, it's all about efficiency. I mean, look at this day, you guys. Are you freaking kidding me? This looks like, you guys remember the Microsoft background? With like the blue sky and the rolling green hills? <laughs> kind of looks like that. Now, Jordan and I are going to be working on the railing of these stairs. I feel like these stairs have kind of been a death trap because I really hurt myself the other day. They're still very slippery. We haven't painted them or put the groupies on yet. And we don't have a railing either. We don't have a railing. Which is what we're going to get working on now. Because once this section is done, this thing, this, this whole, what do you call this, our compound? Compound, This yeah. is This is our cult headquarters. <laughs> the cult headquarters is finished. That's where the Kool-Aid's made. <laughs> Oh, no, you can't. You can't just make that joke. You can't just like, slip that in there. Why? Have you ever looked at the you photos? Guys, it's just a joke, all right? <laughs> Kaylee's getting back in our element here, hopping on the welder. We have three vertical beams to put in place for this railing. This is gonna look so good, you guys. This is definitely my favorite kind of metal to weld. Anytime we're uh, welding thin metal like Cariolas, I'm not very good at that. But when it's thick metal and I can just go ham, that's my kind of metal. <laughs> We got two of the verticals down, just one more to go. So I just ran a string line here from the bottom all the way up to the top here. And I marked a pencil line along this string line. That's gonna give me a straight line that I need to cut at an angle so I can have all of these verticals the exact same height. Especially the fact that this vertical is connected differently than these other ones. This is the opportunity to look really bad if I don't make sure this thing is perfect. Working with metal is so nuts, look at this. I'm getting no shake at all. Like this thing, this thing isn't even moving and I'm moving as hard as I can. And I still have this bottom piece that I need to weld in so it's not even fully done yet, but this thing is so rock solid already and then adding in another support, I can't imagine this thing going anywhere. I need to cut three more pieces for the railing now that's gonna go on the bottom and it's gonna be a little tricky. Each one needs to be at basically a 43 degree angle. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. I definitely gotta take my time with this. The first lower beam is in, I'm going for the middle one now. It's so close, you guys. I wish I could have shown you this all done so bad. We just have to clean the metal, we have to paint the metal, we gotta run the wires. As you see these up here. Probably square off this cut right here so it's going vertical. Paint the stairs and this thing's done. I wanted to get it done so bad. I'm still so happy where we got to and we have the space all cleared to start building our house. And that's where we're gonna get started on the next one. Well, I should say we're not gonna get started on the foundation, but we're gonna get started on everything that it's gonna take to get everything down here for the foundation. It's gonna involve a lot of digging and a lot of rocks, probably some concrete, rerunning some electrical lines, but that'll be for next time. Thank you guys so much for following along. We love you. We'll see you on the next one.